Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday here at Bay Area Maker Fair 2016, and we've come to the Noise Bridge booth, and as you can see, it's super popular. So um, we have this big display going here that was built um, completely at Noise Bridge, and uh, uh, please tell me who you are and how you came up with this idea. Uh, I'm Jared. A couple of our members went to Chaos Communications Congress back in December of last year, and Seabase, a hackerspace out in Berlin, I believe. Yes. They did a display like this called Mate Light, okay. and then a lot of our members brought that idea back and are like, "We got to build one of these things." And we tr we've been trying to build, bring a big project to Maker Fair every year now to get all of the people in our space involved in like having something that we can collaborate on. Yeah. So this was kind of the perfect idea for this. So what goes into the display? So this is 1,575 Corona bottles. Okay. Uh, each of them has a WS2801 LED in the back. Uh, each of those are connected in a, into columns and then they go into a breakout board that's attached to a Raspberry Pi. And that Raspberry Pi drives the whole array. Okay. And uh, so how long did it take to put together each crate module? We're thinking that about each crate probably took five or six hours if we're counting sourcing the bottles, wrapping them in foil, drinking the beer, adding time in for the coding of the software, which is all open source on Hinder's GitHub. And we're thinking the whole thing was about 500 or so hours in total. So, of like and so you, you worked on the driver libraries for it? Yeah, I wrote the, I wrote the uh, software which like pushes it all out, used DMA on Raspberry Pi, uh, made a breakout board to have like uh, up to 16 um, uh, strips that can be like uh, like fed with data. We're only needing nine here because we have like nine columns, so we only need nine. But we can do like about like five times as big of a display, like with the same Raspberry Pi thing. And we have like just like a UDP protocol which we send to it, and then people can do stuff. So how did you lay out the strips? Are they going straight across all the cr one strip no, per crate? Yeah, so there's like there's like one strip like that goes all the way to one column like in a in a uh, curly shape. In turn and software, then we have like a reverse mapping saying, okay, well this pixel is like at this position, right? So um, we made the layout in a particular way so that the uh, input and the output are like at the same place at each crate, so that we can like easily stack them, like plug them together, and that's it without any. Because if you just like do it like this, you have like always like a uh, uh, cross cable and with this we just have like a uh, like connect each of them to each other. Now, now I heard something that the uh, that not all the pixels are the same size. Yes. Yes. So the crates that we were able to source for this project which were give, which were lent to us by a market nearby uh, weren't quite big enough to fit five by five of Corona bottles in there. So each crate has a Coronita bottle, which is a seven ounce beer bottle, very similar, clear glass and everything, but to take up the little bit of slack that we needed, or to make the, to make the little bit of slack that we needed to get the bottles to fit snugly in the crate. So if, yeah, you know it, if you know it, you see like a diagonal of like like tiny, like a little bit smaller bottles, that's it. But only if you know it. If not, then it's like... It's totally well, I think it worked beautifully because they pack the pixels really tightly. Yeah. And I like it how the glass turns out to be a really great diffuser. Yes. Um, there's an interactive element too, right? Yeah, there so we have like a Pong game um, that, that people actually like uh, use here, which was actually written by uh, someone from Italy, uh, Leonardo, I don't know his last name. Um, he, uh, I was like, he was like waiting on a code review of some other project and like, oh, I'm like right now working on something else and sort of thing. And he's like, oh, I want to write Pong for it. And so he wrote Pong. He's never actually seen Flash Dash and like it personally. He's like, I've seen like a video. And so he wrote Pong for it and I like modified it a bit so that we can actually have it here on the show. So and how do like, the controllers connect to the display? Um, we have another Raspberry Pi underneath this table where they like uh, connected to and where the game is running and the game then outputs like the UDP uh, packets uh, with the frames to the display. So the um, display uh, uh, just re receives like frames like from like sources on the network sure. and shows them. So that's and how if, that works. If people want to find out more about this project, where can they go? Um, we have uh, uh, on our wiki page. Um, I think uh, if you search for Flash and Toshin, if you search for Flash and Toshin on your favorite search engine, you actually it will show up on like one of your the first. Great. Um, well, I think it's awesome. I think it shows there's a, a ton of activity and excitement around building great things in Noisebridge. So thanks for being yes, here today. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to see us. <laughs>